What's up geeks and gamers? My name is Draven and welcome to Thorium Gaming. We're back with episode 31 of Freezer to Fallout, our adventures through the post-apocalyptic Boston wasteland. Last time we kicked off things with the Institute and there was a lot of gunfire. And we're going to keep pushing towards that. We're going to free the Commonwealth of their influence, defend the castle, build the Minutemen up, and then we're going to get into some of the DLC content. And it's going to be great. So, you'll notice we're not at one of our strongholds right now. I decided to cut out a little bit of the busy work and get us down here real quick. This is one of the hospitals we've cleared out. Piper, of course, helped out with that. And we're going to be going into the sewer tunnel with the radiation. I would have grabbed a hazmat suit for it, but we should be able to get by with some Rad X and Rad Away, since we have so much of it. So let's just jump back in. Now, when I showed up, there was a bunch of feral ghouls running around. I don't even know if I emptied out the inventory or whatnot. Probably should have done that, but you guys should know me in planning by now. It doesn't really go hand in hand. We've got to go just south to gain access to the Institute. So we're going to figure out where the entrance to this sewer tunnel is. And it's an area that we haven't really explored that much. So we'll see how it goes. I'm kind of worried about this place. We haven't been through here too much because this was the CIT. Apparently there's some people over here that are shooting at us. Not even... Ooh, there's a legendary raider in there. So it looks like we're going to be starting things off with a bit of a bang. Now we can find a way to get in there. Sounds like that legendary raider has a decent weapon, at the very least. Alright, so that's the legendary raider down. I think Piper took out his comrade. Bingo. A limited ammo capacity for a 10mm auto pistol. We might be giving that over to Piper herself, because that's pretty good. Alright, now that that short little jaunt into the ruins is under the way, let's go see if we can find this sewer tunnel. <laughs> now, we were warned about the radiation, but... Again, not too big of a deal, although we are extremely hurt. I guess that uh, legendary raider took a little bit more out of us than we thought. So it's just over here somewhere. It's not showing up on the CIT building itself. Could it be down below? I've never actually done this part of the quest line before. So let's actually take a quick look. I don't think the data gives us too much option here. Gain access to the Institute, that's all it tells us. And the map marker is over there. Now I was told it was a sewer tunnel. So we're going to have to look around a little bit and see if we can find our way in. We did defend the castle successfully, though off screen, I got some good footage for the blooper reel I'll put out eventually. Yeah, the missile turrets kind of blew me up. Just a lot. Alright, Mr. Raider. Thought it was cool and funny to try and sneak up on us, but we saw you first. And of course you didn't really have any good gear. Apparently, you have some friends. Couple of quick shots, and they're dealt with. Raiders at this point aren't really too much of a threat. Our weapons and armor are good enough that we can almost entirely ignore them. 
Why don't we try to find our way into the institute? Of course, I am terrible with grenades, but that's no big surprise for anyone who's watched even a single episode of this. The amount of times that I've killed myself with my own explosives is, or at least should be, well known at this point. I don't even know how close we are to leveling up. Now, before we came out here, I did pick up a few more shotgun rounds and a little bit more 45 ammo. So, there's that. But just to make our lives a little bit easier... Let's get rid of vault Tech Calling off of our list and make sure that Nuclear Option is the only thing on our radar. Why is it sending us off this way? I guess we still have some secondary quests lined up. So let's just take that one off. Alright, there we go. Now it should just be the Institute. We have one map marker. Unfortunately for the raiders, we don't really have any interest in fighting them right now. I guess that would be fortunately for them, since it means that we won't have to gun them down. Wow, these raiders are actually starting to hurt a little bit. Slightly better equipped than their friends. That's okay, they're worth some experience while we're pushing our way towards the Institute, so not too, too troubled by it. More worried about the ammo they're causing us to waste, because going to be going into the Institute to set off some kind of really big blast, as far as I'm aware. And apparently we are out of grenades, which is probably a blessing in disguise. And that stung a little bit. Now that I know where he's hiding at... It's always hard to figure out what to say when I'm scoping someone from this kind of distance. But with him down, I think that's pretty much all of the hostiles here. So let's find this sewer entrance. Oh, it's down there. Not seeing a direct way in, and it's all water, so there's lots of radiation. Could be in this building. It's going to be a little bit of an adventure just finding this place, so we're going to have some fun while we do that. Of course, I hope you guys all had a happy and safe Easter. I know I had multiple kids all basically abusing the crap out of the uncle. Yeah, I'm... Totally and absolutely hating that. If you guys haven't been able to tell yet, I absolutely love my nieces, my nephews, all the family. It's great. Let's just drop a Radex on us right now. And hop in the water to see if the entrance is actually available down here. There we go.
Alright, so that wasn't as much radiation as I thought it would be. Alright, so that should have given us access the code. to the Institute. Whatever is making that smell needs to seek medical attention immediately. Alright, did that just open one of these tunnels? Nope. No. Now it's telling us to go that way. Is it back underwater? Is this one open? This one is apparently open. Alright, so we are in the Institute, apparently. The upper part of the Institute, anyway. So let's just make sure we are cocked, locked, and ready to rock all across the board. Well, definitely an entrance to the Institute, with their laser weapons and everything showing up. Good place to pick up some advanced scrap materials, though. Thankfully, the radiation in here isn't too bad. We're not getting spiked by the water we're walking through. Definitely a plus. I say that as we enter some irradiated water. It's not the greatest in the world. It's still telling us to go this way. Okay, so that's not creepy at all. But we still probably have to watch out for some synths and some other defenders. And there's some oil there below us, which means that floor can be lit on fire. I don't remember this from our first trip into the Institute, and we did a fair amount of exploring. There is a first aid box here. We're going to unlock that and see if we can get our hands on some other nifty stuff to help us survive down here. I mean, we're only taking on one of the most powerful factions within the Commonwealth, even if they're the bad guys. Let's make sure we have some sort of grenade. It doesn't even really matter what kind. Well, all we've got is the synth relay grenades, and we don't really want to use them because we're fighting the Institute. Hey, found them and okay, I was a little worried that was going to be something a little bit more <laughs> intense than just a mole rat. Even if it was a broodmother. This is probably where we're going to get hit with some radiation. If we can stay out of the water as much as possible, that'd be great. Plus, these little crenellations give us some cover if we do end up having to fight something. Property of CIT? And that's the inflow pipe, so I'm guessing we have to follow it down. There's some radioactive barrels there. It seems like the radiation is the biggest hazard here, but... I don't want to make any assumptions. This is the institute we're talking about here, so they could have any number of little traps, tricks, or other things ready for us. And where there's radiation, there is ghouls, so... I think we'll be able to loot that one. We'd just end up drinking a bunch of dirty water. Well, a rat X is probably a good thing. We know there's a ghoul there now. We don't know where this one dropped. And we can actually get that one. He's floating. Unlike his little buddy, who uh, kind of sank. I 
Uh, radiation still hasn't built up too much yet. They couldn't have dropped down behind us, could they? like the start of every Resident Evil game ever. Just zombies coming out of the walls, out of the floors. Why is a plasma cartridge? curious as to how this is gonna go. I mean, we know that the inflow pipe will eventually lead us to the Institute. Alright, and come on, I just had it. There we go. And now we are overburdened, so let's just give Piper a little bit of our junk. Oh, and Piper can't carry anymore because we did indeed forget to drop it off. So is there anything we can actually just drop? Well, these synth grenades, they'd be fun. Oops, that is the wrong button. Do they even weigh anything? They do. We will drop all ten of those, because we don't want to summon synths to help out the Institute. Because we're going full Minutemen. See, this kind of stuff worries me a little bit. Well, that worked out pr rather well for us. Let's just jab ourselves with a stim pack, and while we're thinking about it, let's try to cut down a bit on our radiation. Get some rad away. Some water. Won't hurt. Do we have any else? Yeah, we kept all of the stuff that we got from the Institute. Forgot to drop it all off. We can drop one of those, though, because we only need one per. When we picked up a synth chest piece, I won't ever know, but it can get dropped. I really should have done this beforehand. I was thinking, oh yeah, I'm going to get in and everything's going to be great because I'm not going to have to waste your guys' time. Oops. So there's an expert terminal there. There's got to be a way through all this. It doesn't require hacking. Since there's so many talents and... other things in here that we can do. There's got to be a way to get in without having the specialist skills. I think we've found it. Of course, we'll grab this fusion core on our way by. Never know, we may end up rocking a... Gatling laser at some point. I didn't see that move, so let's see if we can find where it... Okay, almost had it there. Screwdrivers and bobby pins. Nothing really that we need from there. I would like to know where we shot those two synths at. Just because uh, they might have some laser ammo, and if we have to pick up a laser weapon to fight our way through this, it wouldn't hurt. Take the gold, or the duct tape, not the gold watch. Because adhesive is a thing, and we've been going through a lot of it trying to build up. All of our stuff back. 
It would appear your attempt to stop has failed. There's another synth that way, I think. There he is. Thankfully, we're not chewing through ammo too quickly. And yes, we can get a synth pistol without overweighting ourselves right now. So we're going to do that just so we have a backup in case we run out of ammunition. We shouldn't, but it's always a possibility. If we were rocking a Gatling laser, we would have more than enough ammunition to deal with everything. There's an automatic laser pistol. And we'll put that institute pistol back in there. An automatic laser pistol is far better. For as good as the institute claims, they don't actually have very good laser weaponry. All their laser weapons suck. Which is rather weird, if you ask me. Like, they should have the best technology out there. But unfortunately, they do not. All of their technology is either outdated, or just bad in general. Standard laser weapons are remnants of the Old War, if I remember correctly. So they were military at one point. Now, does this elevator go anywhere? Doesn't look like it. Again, I've never actually done this particular quest line before, so I have no idea where I'm going. Thankfully though, everything's not too bad and it's easy enough to find your way around. Okay, this looks like we're going into a more secure zone. Unless this is just back the way we came. Which is entirely possible. But it doesn't look like it. I don't remember walking past a chemistry station like that. I keep wanting to hit the wrong buttons to strafe. And no, we definitely have not been this way because we would have grabbed the fusion cells off those guys. And we're into the institute. Figures that water would be their one weakness. Still has to be piped in from outside. I'm really hoping that it's not just this, since we killed pretty much everybody in here the last time. Put hollow tape. Don't really think that we had to in do that. telling us to use this computer, so let's see what the quest is telling us right now. Activate the Institute Relay. So I'm guessing it'd be the targeting sequence. our minimum reinforcements. They think they're better than us is really what the Institute was going for. They think they're better than us. They should have read their history. That hasn't ever turned out well. In any case, here we are. Turn him back now. You're gonna need this. It's a fusion pulse charge. Once it's attached to the reactor, it can be detonated remotely. All right, so just get that on the reactor, and we can trigger an explosion that'll destroy everything the institute has ever built. 
Just make sure we give the civilians a chance to escape before we blow the place. We're not here to commit mass murder. We better hurry. They're gonna realize what's going on before too long. Sergeant, you better get to work on this teleporter there. We need that thing running as soon as possible. Pull us back up as soon as we get the signal. And anyone from the Institute who wants out, you let them go. As long as they ain't too many. Alright, so it's time to go in. We're definitely going to give the civvies time to escape. Alright, we've got Minutemen coming in to support us. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so all of a sudden there are a lot of synths. We have some help, though. Alright, there's a lot of enemies around here. Let's get into a position where we can see down the side. We'll be grabbing the fusion cells and stuff as we go along. I wish one of these Institute rifles wasn't automatic. So I'm not seeing anyone down there. I don't like this whole shoot across the long distance thing. We're playing a rifleman. Let's get into a rifleman's position. And there's a normal institute rifle. Let's see if we can kind of make it so that we can carry this. It only does 36 damage, and the automatic laser pistol does 20. Is there anything in here that weighs a lot that we don't really need? Vacuum tubes probably do. They only weigh that... Oh, they don't weigh that much. Yeah, I really should have done this beforehand, but... That's me in planning. It's in our aid that we don't really need. Now that's old world food that we can do without. I'd rather dump the alcohol than drink it, because getting addicted right now would be a bad thing. We can drink a new Coca-Cola. Use the right away and some purified water. And again, drop the alcohol instead of drinking it. There we go. Normally I'd hang on to at least one bottle, but uh, this particular moment not exactly a big deal. Some fragmentation grenades, and we're definitely going to equip those. 
are already equipped. That makes that that much easier. Let's reload. Not seeing any baddies, but uh, it's just a robotics terminal. just a lot of sense. Granted, we are breaking into the Institute, so that's not a surprise. Well, normally I'd be telling Piper to get down, get back, all that sort of stuff. It's actually a good thing that she's going out front, because she's covering for our soldiers. I'm getting a feeling that this might activate on us. Looks like a complete robot. So we may have to deal with that. Or the robotics terminal might have been what activates it. Another fusion core. Which makes sense since we're breaking into the institute. They'd have a lot of extra power running around. Now we remember the bioscience wing from the last time we were here. Don't know if it'll be the same. wondering where we set off the civilian recall from, because I don't want to exactly trash any civilians. Oh, so this is what it looks like. Man, no wonder they were down here. Hmm? Yeah. It's kind of curious that they've got all these Gen 2 synths coming after us and no Gen 3s. Normally I'd be worried, but these are synthetic gorillas. Apparently picking that up was just a bit too much for us to handle. It's very bright in here. We're just going to drop that. I'm going to eat those Yagwai ribs too. good to see that our Minutemen are picking up things that are better than those. Pump up rifles that they've got. Can't even remember their name right now. That's kind of sad. We've got and this is the part that I was pretty much expecting to be a nightmare. So while we're doing this, do we have any Psycho buff left? No. So we're going to have to use just buff out and some Psycho and an Addict Doll. That's a Courser right there.
All right, Piper, get up. Still not showing us a an option to give the civilians a way out. I'm hoping it's not something that we're going to be able to miss. That was a legendary, uh, an assassin's lead pipe. But we did get level, so while we're in the middle of combat, that's always the best time to look at your levels and everything. Still can't get our next rank of science yet, which would allow us to do a lot of cool stuff. We could give ourselves a little bit more luck. I mean, we have our intelligence maxed out. Or we give ourselves some more toughness. A bit of damage resistance. You know what, I think that's going to be the way to go for now. Give ourselves some damage resistance. Make it harder for the Institute to actually kill us off here. Laser muskets. That was the term I was looking for before. We are really, really running low on ammunition. So like I said, we've gone through a couple hundred rounds. Let's just break out this Institute rifle and see what we can do with it. It's still a rifle, despite not being nearly as good as our other rifle. Hey there, General. Found the reactor. Looks like you need to get yourself to the advanced systems area. Only, well, it's locked. Can't override it from here. Looks like the command can only come from the director's personal terminal. You're gonna need to get access to it somehow. A little bit ghoulish, stealing from our own troops. That's what we gotta do. So, we have to go to the director's terminal. I'm guessing that's inside this elevator? Maybe? Assuming we're going the right way. I have no evidence of that. Alright, so let's shut down... Ah, uh, here we go. Alright, good job. Looks like that's opened things up enough for you to reach the reactor. Some other good news. I've almost got the teleporter working. Should be ready to pull you out whenever you need. Well, with any luck, Sturges won't leave us hanging. Let's take a quick look at the map and see where we gotta go. All the way over there. So now we gotta figure out a way back down to that main area. Now if anyone was wondering why we didn't see Father up in there, the first time we were in here, we may or may not have unloaded on him.
he gives you this whole speech about how can you do this, you were meant to lead the Institute, all that sort of stuff. Overweight again? By one pound. So anything that we can just drop. We don't need an institute jumper. I just wanted to keep the lab coats for our scientists. So now will do everything we need. Was that a uh, legendary? No, just a strider. So many sins. We are running so low on ammunition. We'll leave our Minutemen to deal with them. That was probably a bad place to run, Miss Scientist. Alright. Oh, we didn't actually nail her. That's actually awesome. So we'll drop that, and we'll equip the focused fiery one. Alright, let's see, where are we going here? Didn't really want to kill her, but not much of a choice. Down the reactor level. This is exactly the kind of... I was just about to say, this is exactly the kind of place I would expect an ambush, and I was not disappointed. I really, really, really should have checked my inventory before we came here. Do we have any grilled rad stag? There we go. That should help us out a little bit. So I have a feeling that we're going to be suffering more radiation as we go along here. So let's just drop a rad X. Make sure that we are resistant to it. Hopefully not run into too, too many synths. Looks like this place hasn't been... And here we go, another big glob of synths. They apparently took out one of our Minutemen and hurt Preston. Oh, these aren't actually synths, these are Institute scientists. One of them has a rocket launcher.
apparently one of them has a flamethrower too. This is probably going to be a lot of ducking around corners while we look for the guy that's got the rocket launcher. And the guy that's got the flamethrower. We know there's at least one legendary enemy right there. Apparently we would have had to have killed him anyway. And he's the one that had the flamer. Charge forward, Minutemen! It's kind of a meat grinder. Here we go. Let's see where this Minuteman gets shot from. And that hurt a lot. The one with the rocket launcher is still alive, though. And he's going to fire again. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of ducking and hiding. Anytime one of the bad guys has any heavy weapon, it's usually a good idea to take cover. I think he's out of rockets now. But he's going to keep tossing pulse grenades down at us, so the quicker we can take him down, the better off we're going to be. Alright, Piper, time to get off your butt. I think we're gonna go back to that fiery on a or focused fiery institute rifle too. Might be an energy weapon, but aside from scavenging a bunch of stuff from our own troops that flew in here to basically get nuked. Oh, we are taking a lot of radiation damage. It's definitely not good. I'm guessing that it's very similar for the Minutemen as it is to the Brotherhood, because when the Brotherhood comes through here, same sort of stuff, but in their case, they have power armor and don't need to worry about radiation so much. Oh, he still had missile ammo left. That's good to know. We're starting to take a lot of... radiation damage. So let's kill a bit of it off.
Alright, now we have to talk to Preston Garvey. Wherever he ended up. Over here, hurt. Excuse me. Beating me? We're done down here. Tap us back to the relay room. Okay, let's go. Okay, there we go. Getting zapped back. Tough call. We haven't been... <sighs> we know that this is a fake Sean, and we had to kill the real Sean. He's a synth. He's never going to age. He's going to be a little boy forever. It's not our son. Does that really matter? I'm not sure that's such a good idea. I promise I won't be too much trouble. I'll stay out of your way, and you won't even have to take care of me. So can I go with you? Please! We can't leave him behind. Alright. You can come with me. Really? Do you mean it? Yes, I mean it. Now let's get out of here. I'm glad you are here to save me. Let's get out of here. Alright, Sturgis. Fire it up. Didn't leave anything behind, did you? All set to get out of here? Thank you for your cooperation. Let's get out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. You got it. I'm gonna teleport you to the detonation site. Then set it to shoot the kid here back to the castle. Now you press that button extra hard when you get there. I'll see you on the other side. I'm ready. Let's get out of here. There we go. I guess it was just teleporting Piper first. Good. Get the lady out of there. Sturgis Kickers, this was a safe distance outside the blast radius. Whenever you want to see humanity's best hope for the future go up in smoke, just hit that button. Alright. Well, after every atrocity they've committed... really hope Minutemen teams cleared that area before we set this off. I can feel it wash over me. The heat, the force, the radiation, the fear. It's the end of the world all over again. I close my eyes. I see my life before all of this, before the bombs. Everything can change in an instant, and the future you plan for yourself shifts whether or not you're ready. At some point, it happens to all of us. This wasn't the world I wanted, but it was the one I found myself in. The Commonwealth. My home. Ripped apart and put back together. I thought, I hoped, I could find my family, cheat time, make us whole again. The way we were. But now I know. I know I can't go back. I know the world has changed. That the road ahead will be hard. This time, I'm ready. Because I know war. War never changes.
what a way to tie things up. Hey. Holy shit. That was one hell of a bang, wasn't it? So that's it. The Institute is destroyed. It's finally over. You did issue the evacuation order, right? I didn't notice in all the chaos. Yes. Yes, we did. Yeah. We gave everyone a chance to get out. Good. I thought so. It was just watching that explosion. I just hope as many people as possible got out. I hate that we had to do that. But they left us no choice. It was war. But now, the war against the Institute is over. The way is now clear for the Commonwealth to finally come together and build something good for the future. It is not all sunshine and rainbows from here on out. We had other problems to deal with? The Institute wasn't the Commonwealth's only problem. We've still got plenty to do. I couldn't have said it better myself, General. The Institute was the most insidious threat we've ever faced. They kept the Commonwealth divided for centuries. But there are plenty of other problems left to deal with. I don't think the Minutemen are going to be out of a job for a long time yet. As much as I might wish. We deserve to enjoy our victory. But soon enough, it's going to be time to get back to work. True enough. Anyway guys, seeing as how we have just wrapped up the main storyline and we got a bunch of other things left to go on the horizon, that's probably a good place to end it for this week. I mean, that's one hell of a conclusion to the main storyline, and one I hadn't seen yet. The Minutemen eventually win, thanks to our help, but we still got a lot left to do. And that includes dealing with this me mechanist threat, the stuff we've been hearing about a place called Far Harbor, and the tram to Nuka World. Still lots left to do, and we're going to be covering those individually as we go along. But for now, we can take a little bit of a look over the horizon, realize that the Institute is gone, and everything is able to be healed and put back together. The Brotherhood's still out there. So is the Railroad, though I don't know what form or function they play anymore but the institute itself is gone but that's going to be it for this week so if you like the video guys please consider hitting that like button if you'd like to join up with the 232 be part of our community just hit that subscribe button make sure you turn your notifications on so you don't miss when a new video goes up remember guys life is a game so play to win and until next time take care